You know what I do find interesting? No, no, be surprised. I, I find it interesting because yes. are you familiar with that, that channel Vice? Yes, I, I'm familiar with that channel. Okay. Yes. I, I literally saw an episode. I don't know if you ever saw it. But they they went undercover um, and infiltrated the recruitment of Sicarios, um, the hitmen for these cartels. And what I found most interesting is that people are lining up to become Sicarios. They, they literally are, are, for lack of a better way to put it, I, I saw people who seem to be somewhat regular. And they would go into the jungle and they would almost apply for a job and, and want to become a Sicario for money. In your experience, is it that common that people just look at becoming a hitman no different than becoming a mailman in the United States? Uh, no, there are people... In my experience, and I was under covering to the cartels, and I, I had a lot of deal with cartel members and all of that because they didn't know I was a DEA agent. In my experience, okay, yes, there was a lot of people that wanted to join um, the cartels and be recruited. They wanted to become hitmen. But the real serious cartel guys like El Mayo Zambada, he said, no. Why should I hire some nobody over here? when I can hire snipers, military snipers trained by the U.S. government in Benin, for Benin, Georgia, to be my execution. Why well, would I hire some guy off the street? Most of the hitmen and, and the, 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 the sicarios that work for the cartel are ex-military and federal officials of the government of Mexico, a lot of them trained by our forces here in the United States. A lot of the guys, like the Zetas, they were military guys working for the cartel. They were they actually became the cartels by executioners. Were all high ranking military officers trained at Fort Benning, Georgia by our Green Berets. These are the guys that the cartels recruit. They're not going to recruit some guy off the street and make him a sicario. These are the real executioners. When the cartel guys are going to kill somebody, they're going to send these guys with badges. Go and say, sir, you're under arrest. You're being, like Camarena, you're coming in with us. You're being under arrest. And they take him and they dismember him and throw his body because he was a, he become an enemy of the cartel. That's what I know and how I know they operate. Why would you settle to, to hire some guy that has no military experience, has nothing to offer you or has a killer for you, when you can hire an expert sniper, an expert, an expert in, in, in basically interrogation and, and murder, a cop. That's who their guys are. That's who the guys that are doing the hits are. They're all former cops or military guys. You you do realize I know you, that you do realize the statement you're making right there. That that is a hell of a accusation. Um in your experience, you have found that accusation to be truth that these guys are hiring ex-military, trained by the U.S. And when we see these executions come across our screen, more times than not that these are military trained men that are just now on the payroll of these cartel, uh, of the cartels? A hundred percent, Sean. A hundred percent. Do you think you're going to hire somebody off the street to use surface to air missiles? Lost rockets, very sophisticated. I, I know those weapons. I'm an ex veteran of the U.S. Army. <laughs> you, just, you just don't learn how to fire a missile that uh, and blow down, uh, blow little pieces, a uh, helicopter or something out of the air. Was, you, they hire people that know. How do you think they <laughs> they operate this heavy artillery they, they're buying from the Chinese and, uh, and, and, other, and other weapons uh, merchants, military weapons. They have to have people that know how to use them. And the only people that know how to use them 
are military guys, a lot of them that were trained by us in the United States, by our Green Berets, by our SEALs are trained. We still train them here, and supposedly we train them to go against the cartels, but they get over to Mexico and they offer their services to the cartel. Think about it. If you're a mile somebody, you're going to hire somebody up the street that's applying to be a hitman. You're going to want to hire somebody that knows what he's doing. Somebody that can blow a, a, a helicopter out of the sky or even a jet out of the sky. Somebody that can blow a building off with a, with a lost rocket. That's who you're going to hire. He says, some of these weapons these guys have are very sophisticated and nobody up the street knows how to use them. The only people, and well, yeah, they do hire Vietnam veterans too. They've hired Vietnam veterans that, that know how to use those weapons. Who do you think strains them? And also these, these merchants and the Chinese or whoever that are providing them with the weapons, they're training these guys. And these guys are not street people. These guys are military guys that are working for the cartels. So that program that you just mentioned, I mean, I never heard, I've never heard of them doing it that way. I've been with them. I've been with cartel guys drinking. And they said, you see that guy right there? He's a former captain of whatever Mexican army. You see that guy over there? He used to be a general now. Now he's working for the cartels. And they're even in uniform. They even wear uniforms, Sean. They even had that scene, the Cartel Jalisco Nueva Generacion. They had a parade showing off all their weaponry. It's a video. You can get it. And this, you see the, 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 the M60 machine guns on, on tripods, military cars, uh, military trucks, I mean, full of cartel guys uh, with all the bulletproof vests, all the, all, all the military hardware on them. Night vision goggles. They look like army. They look like, like, like they look like the, the Al Qaeda soldiers or the Afghanistan guys. That's what they're up against. This is how big they become. They're not little anymore. You know, they're very, very powerful and very dangerous. That's how they control. Again, this rabbit hole goes so damn deep what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you know anybody that can benefit from this message feel free to share peace and love make every move a power move and i'll catch you all on the next video